Austin 316 says I just whipped your Give me a hell yeah Hard hitting What? Compelling interviews What? Spot on predictions What? Statistical analysis What? Huh? What? Okay, so they're none of that But definitely laying the audio smackdown it's Wrestling Wednesday on yes. the Kevin Sutton yes. Show. All right, so this anticipated guest of our tonight. You may know him as Mr. Diamond Dallas Payne, or you may know him as Mr. DDP. Whatever you know him, it's Mr. Wrestling himself. Welcome, 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 Mr. Diamond Dallas Page to the Kevin Sun Show. How you doing, brother? Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? Uh, unstoppable. That's how. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, let me let me That's just it. as as a female, I'm going to start this off right. I want to uh, congratulate you. You just got married over the summer. Yes, I did about five or six weeks ago. We then, went to. Uh, Mexico in July for our, our our DDP yoga retreat we do. Uh, doing another one down there in October. Um, but uh, we went from the retreat down to about four miles to another beautiful uh, uh, retreat place that they have there, uh, the resort. And about 60 of my good friends and family came down and, uh, you know, spent three days with us. It was really awesome. Time. That's awesome. Let me just tell you, I've been to a Cancun wedding so those are really nice. Oh man, that's that's a yeah, really that's nice setting. So congratulations with, to you and your Thanks. wife. So much much Thanks. love. Um, welcome to our show. We are very excited. We are huge wrestling fans. I'm going to let Dr. Phil introduce himself. Hello, my name is Phil. They call me Dr. Phil. And hey. uh, Jerome. Hey, and Jerome, our useless intern. <laughs> but hey, we, all, we all have our stage intern. names. I, I'm I'm Latin diva. Yep. Dr. Phil's the doctor. I'm the doctor, handing out prescriptions for butt whipping. The useless guy. Jay Riot. Jay Riot. I'm a riot. <laughs> <laughs> and our producer, we've given him skinny ditty, but but uh, we're all huge wrestling fans. You can say hello. Very cool. What's going on, DDP? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's great to have yeah. you on the show. And, uh, and Sal is the one that really hooked us up with you. Sal, are you still there? Oh. Yeah. All right. So we want to start this off right because... You actually are very well known. Anybody in wrestling knows knows you know D- Diamond Dallas Page, but you actually didn't start as young as a lot of these wrestlers are doing now. You came on as a manager and then transitioned to a wrestler. Isn't that true? Yeah, I, I actually tried it when I was twenty two, but I had like three matches. I was horrific. Um, <laughs> I hurt. I hurt. I got hit by a car when I was a kid, and I really I, I hit my right knee. I bounced off the hood. And I flew 42 feet from the point of impact. Oh and I took a bad bump uh, on my third match, and I torqued the hell out of my knee, and that put me down. But then I got my first job, not first job, but my first big job running a small um, rock and roll bar. And then I got pulled into the booze, the broads, and the party, and sort of like left the dream, you know. And uh, I got so pissed in the 80s that wrestling blew up so big, I stopped watching. I was oh so, man! Because I really thought I could have been a part of that, you know, and and I thought I I blew it, you know. And one night I was flicking the channels, and I see Jesse Ventura. And I'm like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> you know, and, and, and he pulled me in, and then the first match, out of the curtain comes this guy carrying a bag over his shoulder, and it's Jake, and I'm and he pulled me in, and next thing you know. You know, I'm getting dressed up as Jesse Ventura for Halloween, you know. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, I got pulled back in. And then a few years later, that's when I was th- almost 32. I thought I was too old to be a, ma- you know, a wrestler. So maybe I'll try managing. And one night in the back of my nightclub, now I'm running a huge place in Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, and it was the hottest spot from Sarasota to Cuba, you know, in 1987, going into 88. And... Um, you know, in the back of my bar, we just started drinking, and we started talking about wrestling. And out of that, you know, this name of Diamond Dallas Page, because when I wrestled, tried the first time, 
I was Dallas Page, but I was a big handsome Jimmy Valiant fan, <laughs> so I was called Handsome Dallas Page. And my and my and my buddy Smokey let me know right away. Oh, oh, you can forget about using that gimmick. <laughs> you know, and the shots and the beers, you know, continued. And uh, Diamond Dallas Page was born, and the Diamond uh, Diamond Exchange, the wrestlers, and the Diamond Dolls. And I said. Now, can you imagine if I'm a manager and I've got the girl, but I don't have one girl, you know, I got a whole bevy of them. And instead of looking like girl next door hot, like Liz is, what if they were all stripper hot? Holy oh, oh, moly. That'll be a, Changing well, the game. That'll be a stretch. You know, so <laughs> that's where it came from. That, I mean, that's where Diamond Wells Page was born in Fort Myers, Florida, you know, with cocktails and shots. Wow. That's, now, DDP... I started watching uh, WCW back in uh, right before the NWO was formed, so that early 90, 1996. And uh, when I when I started watching you in nineteen ninety seven, the first thing I saw the first thing I saw was your hair, and I was like, "Wow, look at that! <laughs> I, I yeah. want to I want to grow that." But then when I started watching, I started watching how you did the diamond cutter in any like you know how Randy Orton does the RKO or RKO out of nowhere. But to be honest, yeah. it was a diamond cutter wow. out of nowhere. And uh, I I forgot who it was that you did it to. I think it was Eddie Guerrero that you did it to. Oh yeah. That um, I ended up doing that to my friend. And I hurt him very bad. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> so you don't recommend oh, none of that. No, those moves. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. No, but but who yeah. was your who was your favorite opponent in WCW when you wrestled? Well, of course it would have been Randy Savage because that was the career maker, you know. And I have a million stories around it. You know, of course, you know, I didn't say, Hey, I'd like to work with Savage, you know, cause Savage controlled his own destiny. Yeah. And, uh, I sure as hell didn't say, I think I'll beat Randy tonight with a diamond cutter. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you know, that, that came from one person, which was Randy. And, uh, I'll never forget the first time. Cause we had done so much and, you know, and, and the house shows that we were doing, you know, you know, every night going up to the pay-per-view, it was just run-ins at the NWO. I hit a couple of diamond cutters, and then they'd kill me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, and this night was in Florence, South Carolina, and it was probably uh, – it was a Friday night before the Sunday, the pay-per-view, our first time on a pay-per-view together. And uh, Arn Anderson walked in, and he was the agent, and he said, uh, so, Randy, what are we doing tonight? And Randy looked at him as he was lacing up his boots and he looked back down and he tied his boot up and he looked back at Arn and he said, hmm, I think I want to take the diamond cutter. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I actually had the pleasure of seeing you. I don't remember if it was 97 or 98 here in Orlando at the Amway Arena. So we all have our stories uh, of, of you and, and, you know, your career, but, um, Diamond Dallas Page, if you don't mind, we're going to go to commercial break. When we come back, yep. we'd love to get your feedback on what's going on now and see your views on all of that. Is that all right? Cool. All right. Sure. You heard it here. We've got Mr. Diamond Dallas Page on the Kevin Sutton Show. We're going to be right back. It's Wrestling Wednesday. Dr. Phil, Jerome, the intern, and me, Myra, the ladies' point of view, holding it down. Watch out. The Kevin Sutton Show is brought to you by iFly Orlando. You're looking for that skydiving experience, but you don't want to jump out of a plane? iFly Orlando is a place to go. It's an indoor skydiving experience located on the International Drive across from Wet n' Wild and Yogurtland in Winter Park. That's right. Get your Froyo on every Monday. Buy one, get one, freeze. That's Yogurtland across from the Winter Park Village. Now let's get back to this crazy thing we call Wrestling Wednesday with The Kevin Sutton Show. Hey, guys, guess what? You can leave us a voice message on our website without even dialing a phone number. Just head to KevinSuddenShow.com on the right side of the screen. Click on the Speak Pipe button. Keep it clean because it will play on the air. Ask us any questions or just give us a comment. But whatever you do, just head to KevinSuddenShow.com. Hey, 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 it's me, Krispy Kreme Chris, just giving you a call, just letting you guys know that I'm thinking about you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful night. Diamond Dallas Page, thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you have done as a person as well as a wrestler. I looked up to you when I was a kid, and I still look up to you for what you have done with your DDP yoga. You guys have a great show, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. 
Oh, yeah, you heard it right there. That's another Kevin Sutton Show fan checking in and leaving much love for Mr. Diamond Dallas Page, DDP. And we're glad to have you back on the show. You guys still there? I'm here. All right. So uh, he, he gave a shout-out to the DDP Yoga. You want to tell uh, us a little bit about that? Uh, you know, it's um, years ago, when I, got, when I first started this whole journey, I really thought that at some point – even though I've got all the DVDs and we've done really well, especially thanks to Shark Tank. And then they played it again last night on Shark Tank on CNBC, which is pretty cool. Wow. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> but I had this vision of creating a place that would be a production studio that would eventually stream everything on the Internet. And today I opened it. And I'm having my grand opening party on Saturday for a bunch of, you know, friends and family and people are coming in from all over. Uh, it's in uh, Smyrna, Georgia, which is one of the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm like 20 minutes from downtown and uh, right off of 285 pretty much. Right on the same road, actually, where they're building the brand new Brave Stadium. Wow. And I built a 6,300 6, square feet corporate office for DDP Yoga. I call it the house that Shark Tank built, <laughs> and uh, so it was pretty cool that they that they actually, you know, put us back on again last night. But it's uh, when people walk in, when you see if you go to DDP TV and subscribe there, you'll get to see Steve Austin' initial response to seeing the performance center. Although I'll tell you, he was blown away because I know I sound like when I talk about the place that, you know, I, I might be sounding like I'm overselling it but I'm underselling it. I mean, it's the most, there's nothing like it because we literally built a production studio, you know, that's 2,300 square foot of the studio. And in it, we have our workout facility area. We've got a, a kitchen that is second to none for our cooking shows that we're going to be doing on our network that it's, it's called DDP yoga now. And it's the first interactive subscription for fitness. Uh, we will launch that on Black Friday. Um, I was just going through it today. We've been working on this for coming up on a year and nine months. Oh. Wow. And it will be launched almost a year. It will be launched on our four-year anniversary on Black Friday. We've got a 30-foot green screen <laughs> that's 30 feet wide and 18 cool. feet high. And we lay the flooring down. It's 20 feet deep. And what you'll see coming out on our app, on our interactive uh, DP Yoga Now, our subscription app, will be the very first video DDP video alarm clock what? on top of all the workouts. So when the morning comes around, instead of you hearing uh, 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 or music, you're going to hear tap, tap, tap on your screen or your phone or your iPad or your droid or your pamphlet. And if you look over at the tap, 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 and you see my face in your TV, <laughs> I mean, in your, your computer, your, uh, your iPhone or your iPad, and I'm going to be going, yo, monkey, get out of bed. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow, that's, that's awesome. What I need. That's what I need. In, don't make me come in there. Don't make me come in there. <laughs> hey, DDP, what can somebody expect if they want to start uh, DDP yoga? Like, because I know your tagline is not your mama's yoga. so And it, and I think at one time it used to be yoga for regular guys? Yeah, it started as yoga for regular guys. And it was I was developing, first of all, understand that I developed DDP yoga out of necessity. I didn't start wrestling until I was 35. My career didn't take off until I was 40, which was in 1996. So when you guys were watching me raise all that hell, yeah, I was in my 40s. Wow, holy. 97 and 98. Yeah, I was 42. I, 97 and 98, according to Pro Wrestling Illustrated, I was rated number four wrestler in the world. Stone Cold was number one. So easily top 10. And I was just living a dream at a different level. And then I blew my back out. Mm. I had three of the top specialists in the world tell me I was never going to wrestle again. I just signed a multi million dollar three year deal. So I would try anything. 
I was that guy who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga. Now I'll try anything. <laughs> and I tell you, it was, it was a blessing from God. And I was explaining this to somebody today. When something looks like it's your deepest, darkest moment, and that was one of them for me. Right. If you turn left instead of right or right instead of left, if you find the positive, because it's there, it's somewhere. And I ended up figuring out, okay, I've got to, you know, start to open my mind. I had to be flexible to the idea of doing yoga. And once that did, I learned that flexibility was youth, not just in my body, but in my mind. And I started to mix it because I wasn't into all the, you know, the, the humming and the chanting and all the <laughs> mumbo jumbo. You know, not that there's anything oh. wrong with that. I get it now, you know, but it wasn't for me. So what I did was got rid of all of that. And I took the yoga and mixed it with the rehab mixed it with old school calisthenics and mixed it with something I call dynamic resistance, which jacks your heart rate up. So in less than three months, I created a workout that today is known as DDP yoga. That is kick-ass cardio, mm -hmm. dramatically increase your flexibility, strengthen your core like never before with minimal joint impact in less than three months because of what will become known as DDP yoga. I'm back in the ring at 42. Three of the top back specials in the world told me my career's over. At 43, I'm the world champ. So <laughs> I want to keep doing that. All right, you know? so DDP, how do we get a hold of DDP Yoga? What's the best way? Well, everything is everything's up on our, on our website, which is ddpyoga.com. We just broke 182,000 people that have invested in the program. Wow. 180,000. That's we're not beach body. You know, we're not a multi-billion dollar company. We're not Gaim. Guys are worth, you know, almost a billion dollars. We're we're just a group of guys here in Smyrna, Georgia, and now we build our corporate office. And when I tell you when DDP Yoga now comes out in a black or should say on Black Friday on our 4 year anniversary, mark my words, I said this. It's going to change the face of fitness. It's going to change the face of lifestyle. I got a guy who's in here today, and all the, I'm redoing all my workouts, and I'm and I'm adding so many more. We're going to have live workouts on DDP Yoga now, and anybody who invests in the program right now, they're already going to get a couple of months of, of uh, a free subscription because I want them to try it out. So it's not like you got to wait till Black Friday. If you get it now, you're going to be the first to get it because the first people that will get DDP open now will be all the people that have already invested in the program. And they'll probably get it like a week or so ahead of time because I want them to see it and already be talking about it when it comes out. Wow. It's going to be uh, unbelievable, man. All right. I just looked it up. There's some great deals you got going on. This is ddpyoga.com, and we got Mr. Diamond Dallas Page, DDP, on the phone right now. And uh, DDP, we've got to go to break one more time. Can you stay with us? I want to know about Jake the Snake. Sure. All right. All right. You <laughs> heard it here. about the movie Jake the Snake. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Awesome. This is the Kevin Sutton Show. Meyer, the ladies' point of view, holding it down with Joram. Dr. Phil, we'll be right back with Mr. Diamond. Dallas Page. Stay tuned. The Kevin Sutton Show is brought to you by USA Immigration Services, handling all of your immigration needs, family, individual, and business. Go to USAImmigrationServe.com or call 407-894-6333. And are you looking for a DJ or MC for your next corporate gathering, private event, or even a wedding? Well, you can hire our very own Kevin Sutton. Go to the website, KevinSuttonShow.com. And click on Need a DJ. Now let's get back to this crazy thing we call Wrestling Wednesday with DDP on The Kevin Sutton Show. You hear it. It's coming. Take, take the snake's music. Take the snake. DDP is still there. Does, does this bring back a memory? <laughs> yeah. Hey, this. Go ahead. A lot of good memories. 
That's awesome. A lot of good memories. A lot of good memories. Awesome. Welcome back to the Kevin Sutton Show. We have the honor of having Mr. Diamond Dallas Page on the phone with us, visiting the Kevin Sutton Show on Wrestling Wednesday. And we're going to get to it because you've got so much to say. We could really go on for another hour. But, Dr. Phil, kick it. You know, uh, Jake the Snake Roberts is one of your your uh, people who use DDP yoga, and we all know the problems that he's gone through. He's got a movie coming out. Please tell us, how did you how did you save his life? Because he, he attributes that you saved his life. Well, um, you know, I first just got to start with the backstory. You know, when I became a wrestler, I met Jake in, the, in my club in Fort Myers, Florida. That's where I met him originally. And, of course, we became drinking buddies. And uh, he had a mark that owned a club, you know, a piece of a club. But all the boys drank for free when they came through. Mm. And uh, then when I went to do the managing thing, I lost touch with him. And then when I ended up in WCW and I went from managing to actually wrestling, he showed up at the power plant one day. And he was working a deal to come in to, to wrestle and and we ended up, uh, me and Kevin Nash were tag teaming at the time, and we sort of ended up being, uh, you know, Jake's young boys. You know, mm-hmm. like we'd drive him around just to hang with the master, you know, and uh, he would teach us. He'd talk to us about psychology, and he loved teaching people. He loved it. But he really only wanted to teach people who really wanted to learn and, you know, really had a work ethic. And, um, you know, um, I tore my rotator cuff at 36, and, and they let me go. Mm. And him and Watts, who just come in, Bill Watts came in time, and it, they had a run-in. So, you know, Jake walked off, or Watts, whatever. Either way, he left. And uh, he had called me and said, you know, I, you know, how, how's your shoulder? And one thing led to another. And next thing you know, he was living with me. Wow. And, uh, my, you know, my wife at the time was cool with it because there was a, he had an entrance downstairs at his own little place and come and go. And, uh he taught me so much, and um, he was there with me for about three months So he lost the 12-foot black cobra I talked about at the Hall of Fame speech. <laughs> well, hey, we <laughs> lost uh, one here. We lost an 8-foot king cobra in Orlando, so we need Jake the Snake to come, and c- come get him. <laughs> Please. Yeah, well, <laughs> he came back three days later after I had animal control come and get the damn snake out because, <laughs> you know, he, back then he was still partying crazy. And, you know, long story short, he helped me a lot. And after he moved out, he still helped me for years. He would critique my matches. And and uh, he told me, you know, very early on that if I kept doing what I was doing, he thought I could be one of the biggest things in the business. And he was the first to really believe in me like that. And he made me believe it. And uh, I made a lot of money. You know, I had, I had an unbelievable ride. And over that period of time when Jake needed help, I'd help him out. You know, and then we had a, just a, a stupid fallout. I didn't talk to him for a couple of years. And then I, I heard he was doing, not doing so good. So I, I wanted to fix it. You know, I didn't want to have heat. Yeah. With my mentor, I didn't want to go through that, you know, BS. And uh, so I called him up, you know, and I started talking about my program to him. And I sent him the video of the disabled veteran I helped walk again, you know, and, um, I said, Jake, you know, I really think I can help you, man. And it's not right that you should be looked upon the way you are, you know, because you, you know, basically poisoned your career. Mm. You know, let me help you, you know, but I'm only going to help you if you'll help yourself. And at the time, he was like 307 pounds. Wow. And he, uh, I, I had him, I said, you lose 20 pounds, man. You know, I'll, 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 I'll move you to Atlanta with me. So, he agreed to it, and me and uh, Steve Yu, the director of the movie, drove, uh, flew down to Dallas, and we'll actually be in Dallas on the 27th and 28th doing uh, uh, screening the movie and, and doing a Q&A, and then we go right to Tampa, and we're going to be doing a Q&A right after our screenings there in Tampa, Florida, and uh, you know, at the time, I, I, I went down there and we filmed them, and if I knew Jake was in as bad a shape as he was. And when you see it, and you can see it on the trailer, you know, go, everything is at jakethesnakemovie.com. All right, we Every got it. Every theater we're going to, every screening, who's going to be there. Sometimes it's me and Jake. Sometimes it's me, Jake, and Scott. Other times it's me and Scott. Sometimes it's just Jake. 
you know, because we're, we're all over, we're doing a month's tour, and when you pull up jakethesinkmovie.com, you'll be able to see it, and you want to sign up because you want to be the first to know when we might be coming to your city, like we just got AMC to take a week in Pittsburgh. Wow. We got a week in AMC in Dallas. We got a week in L.A., and we got a week in New York City. It is un heard of at this day and time for a documentary to get a week in an AMC theater in New York and LA. True. And yes. we got it. So we're going to qualify to be, you know, you never know what's going to happen with the Oscar nod. I mean, I went into this with a goal and it's just a goal. You've got to set goals, not to win an Oscar, but to be nominated. I want our story to be so strong and so tight that that was my goal. And a lot of people laughed at me, you know, who heard me say it, but they laughed at me when I said I was going to be a wrestler. I think I did okay. They yeah. laughed at me when I started doing yoga. Who are you you know, doing? Okay. You've done really well. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I love the naysayers. Yeah, that, all, the, all the dream stealers and all, they don't bother me. They fuel me. That's what they never understood. And so some of these people who hide behind their computer screen, who say the things they say, sometimes I'll sell it, but they have no idea what kind of a fire they lit under me. It's like, just to prove this retard, excuse me, can't say that word anymore. Sorry, <laughs> moron. That we had to dump yeah. moron. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, that moron wrong, I will work five times harder. Like, and, you know, because some people just hate Diamond Dallas Page. And I, you know, I get it because I'm not for everybody, you know. All right, the so people who do care do care. Hey, we D love you, DDP. We love it. I mean, the stories are amazing. I got to bring you up to to now. You still you still watch WWE now? I watch in spurts. You who? know, I watch in spurts. Like I was definitely watching through the whole Daniel Bryant thing. You know, who do you who you is know, someone there. that that you look you look at right now that you you can appreciate that's that's part of WWE now? Oh, it's easy. Bray Wyatt. Ah, yeah. Oh. To me, you know, Bray Wyatt would have, Bray, Bray, to me, if I was booking, Bray Wyatt would have broken the streak. Bray Wyatt would be starting his own streak. And very Undertaker-ish in the way babyface or heel, it works. Gotcha. You know, so, and, and I think it's so important. You know, one of the closest guys to Jake, you know, to me, Bray Wyatt is because of the character, because of the look, because of his work, because of his promos. I mean, you got you got to be able to do it all today to yeah. really be. And, and, and the guy, he, he doesn't look as big on TV because he's surrounded around giants, but he's 6'3 and 280 pounds. Mm. He's a big badass. Mm -hmm. He's believable as hell. You saw him in a, you saw him in a dark alley. You'd be, you know, you'd be scared. You'd run. <laughs> you know, big time, you know. Wow. So uh, he's very believable. And for the women, you know, my namesake, Paige. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. The British girl. Uh, it's uh, my house now. <laughs> you know, I saw her at NXT there in Orlando years ago. And I saw her in one match. And afterwards, I walked up to her and I go, hey, Paige. She goes, hey, Paige. You know, she's so excited. <laughs> And uh, so was I, because I was like, I, I just saw some serious talent. Mm. And yes. then I learned later that her mom and dad, and that's the first one that's a mom and dad are workers. Yeah. Um, you know, that uh, she's she worked hard. Second generation. Yeah. yeah she's, she's got a lot of talent. She's Did got he... a lot of talent. I think a lot of the girls have come around a lot. Um, you know, it's not my favorite matches, of course, but uh, a lot of them have really started to work, you know, they, they, put, they put a lot of guts out there. And they, DDP, they DDP, it, you know, we hate to cut you off, but our show's ending. <laughs> we love uh, we love that you came on. Oh, yeah. DDPyoga.com, Jake the Snake Resurrection Movie. You guys need to check it out. Thank you so much. Thank we you. We appreciate Thank you. it. Love, love You're it. welcome anytime on okay. Black Friday. This is the Kevin Sands yeah. Show. We're out. I'm a hooker beat up, converted into hip hop form. Write a rhyme and graffiti in every show you see me in deep concentration, cause I'm no comedian.